Hey everybody, it's November 7th. We came to get bees out of a birdhouse. This isn't the right orientation because they were on the ground. So we picked it up and opened up the back. And there is some brood in there. We're going to do a cutout. And cut them out. Put them in a box and see how it goes. Just a little bitty three combs there. So it shouldn't take long, but there is brood, so we know there's a queen. Uh, this box had fallen off its perch, and evidently there were bees in it before. But um, I don't know if they absconded or if they ended up rebuilding there, but there's no evidence of the old comb except for little scraps where it used to hang. So I don't know if Hive Beetle got the rest of that or what. Let's see what we can do with them, huh, Peg? Yep. I'll show you the queen when we get her. He has to edit a lot. Because <laughs> you can't put that stuff on YouTube. Most of the time you see it, the editing, you see me walking away. Just bitching. <laughs> Everybody goes, we know what Peggy was saying. We don't have a short knife, do we? Come on, wait a minute, I do. I was going to say, um, in your pocket. It's a small colony, but you know I have a colony at home that doesn't have a queen, mm -hmm. so I'll just combine them. Oh, did you see her? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, there is a little brood in this one. I didn't, I didn't think there would be. But. Flat spot on the bottom. Might help it. Can't pass here. You want to do it over the box for the ones you're knocking off here? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this. Crisscross. Oh, got you pinched in there. Fall out quick, everyone. You want the next one right next to it? Oh, uh, yeah, there's only going to be these three. Put them all on one? Yeah. yeah. Oh, you guys made a man. Yeah, anytime you feel like you need to, you can just walk away, okay? You start getting scared. I mean, yeah, if they land on you or fly around, you don't try to swat at them. Try not to. See this little beetle right here? That's what we call the small high beetle I was talking okay. to you about. I'm more worried about them spiders crawling in there than them bees. Well, you know, when you get in our situation, you get up in attics and under people's floors and stuff, it's amazing what's in there. I wouldn't be able to do it. One spider would make me quit. <laughs> I have to deal with spiders all the time. It's part of Florida, you know. Yeah. Okay, they're all running up into the corner. Up that probably the means she's already in the corner up there. See how the bees gather? Up there? Okay, so she's up See, there. She's probably already ran. Yeah, they, they follow her wherever she goes. Okay. Here, honey, you want to give me that one? Yeah, let me cut you a flat spot here. And um, them little covered pieces, what is that? Like, uh, is that the brood that you're saying? Yeah, yeah, this is young bees. Okay. If you see the white ones in there, uh -huh. the ones that look like little worms, those are, those are the larvae. After when they, they were born. Yeah, when they pupate, they spin a cocoon and then cover themselves like this. Okay. And then when they start emerging, which will be pretty soon, you'll start seeing their little heads chew their way out. They'll come out, live in the hive for a little while, do 
do one job and then go on to the next job and the next job until they finally go out and fly. Hmm. They got a process they go through. From the time they're in the, the egg stage or whatever, that could, do the, how long is it before they're a full grown bee? 21 days. Wow. For, that's for this. This is for what this. we call worker brood. Now there's drone bees too, which are larger. They're the male bees and they're stingless. Okay. And it takes 24 days for okay. them. The queen, the largest one in the batch, only takes 16 days. Yeah? Yeah. Go figure, right? But they only keep one queen. Per nest? Yeah, per hive. <clears throat> per colony. Now, how many female bees will she put out, possibly? Oh, she can put out many thousands. I mean, she, she can lay two to three thousand eggs a day. Uh, it, it depends on how much honey's coming in. Okay. See, if there's, no, if there's no nectar flow, what we call a nectar flow, then she'll slow down production because she knows they won't have enough to feed okay. everybody they produce. But then they can anticipate a nectar flow as well. And start building so that they have enough to foraging numbers for that, to, okay. to get a lot of honey. Yeah, they're, I mean, they're really in tune, you know. Is that a little beetle inside of it there? Yeah, that's a hive beetle, small hive beetle. We don't like them. There. Okay, the little white. Uh -huh. So yeah. that's that's the first stage, an egg. Then it goes to larva, and there's a really young one right there. Okay. And they grow bigger and bigger, and then they finally spin a web around themselves and pupate. Oh, I'm sorry, I need some more rubber bands. Hang on. I was looking, they were fanning over here. I was making sure I hadn't missed her, you know? How fast I'm pretty sure she's in that cluster there. How fast those grow. I actually have a bee vacuum that Scott made me. Uh -huh. and it vacuums them into this mesh box, this wooden box, huh. um, gently. Yeah. And then I can take the mesh box out and put another one in, you know, a screen box. He made it for me so that I could just, do, when there's thousands and thousands, I mean thousands. It's a lot easier. It's, it's so much easier for me. We try to find her, and then I just vacuum the rest of them up, and then I add her to it, and away we go. Hang on, girls. Now, when you when you see this, go ahead and pinch these together. Okay. It helps them keep them all in line. Hang on, they're getting mad. Oh, you still have another piece? Or? Just a tiny one, no brood. Okay. Yeah, these got, they haven't been in here long. No. So I'm thinking the, after it fell, those ones absconded and these ones just recently moved in. I mean, like I say, I'm not seeing much evidence of comb except for up here and it's kind of brittle. Your girls might want to see that. Okay. okay, do you have your queen catcher on you? Yes. You see her on the back of my hand anyway? You guys are brave. A lot of people won't come near us when we do this. It only hurts for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> No, he's brave. <laughs> well, we really want her. It's the most important part, part of the, hell, the yeah. process. Because if you get all these bees, they'll all die if she's not there. I don't see her in there, do you? Mm -hmm. No, she's maybe still in the box. Now, you said what they're doing in there is fanning? Yeah. Yeah, see when they fan like uh -huh. this? They open up a little gland, you can actually see it in their abdomen there. Okay. And they're spreading a pheromone. Telling the other bees where um, where she's where, used, where they are and she is or vice versa. There she is right there. Oh good job. 
Can you get her? There she is. See how big she is? Oh, nice. okay. She's she different. Compared to the other ones? Yeah, she's a lot prettier in color, too, huh? Yeah. Oh, they're just gorgeous. Yeah. Well, what he's going to do now is we're going to hook her in here, and then we're going to shake those bees out of there and take that box away and leave this one here. When I come back on yeah. Thursday, I'll pick up this box. Okay. But any bees that are out, they'll all come and join this. And when I come pick it up, either it'll be right after dark or early in the morning before anybody's flown. Okay. And that okay. way you'll get, swap this around you'll get all the bees. Okay? okay. You won't have to worry about it anymore. She's going to stay in that cage. They'll all come take care of her for the couple days till I come back Hold and up. get her. Huh. I want, we've got this foundation. I want to put... Foundation. Do you want to open that door? Baby? Yeah, we will. Put that one in there. You can do it different ways. If it was far away and I wasn't coming back over, because you know I had to charge for gas, I wouldn't do it that way. I'd just take them. Hello. Out. But in this case, since I have to be back over on yeah. Thursday. Um, hey, what's up? You want to stay champion? Good job. Yeah. You want to just shake that? You want me to put the box up there and then you can uh -huh. shake that? We can just let them crawl over there. Okay. Good job. Yes. Hell yeah. Do you want to put the box up there next to them with the entrance pointing out? They want to move you up to weight class? Huh? Oh. Yeah, Good so job. Good. We'll take that right down and, and move it. Okay. Right. No, I'll show All right. Hell yeah. Sure. I've been calling to find out, see what's been going on. I might want to go that way. Think you want this? <laughs> sure. Oh yeah. Okay. Good job. He found the queen, everyone. He dumped out the rest of the bees. Right. He's gonna set us up oh, here. Hell yeah. You gonna go with it? Good shit. That's, that's, I would do that more important than finding a job. Fuck that. Go go and love. Yeah, hell yeah. I mean, well, we're going to be ending in this. <laughs> hi, hi. Hey, everybody. It wasn't me this time. What? Peggy the potty mouth. It wasn't me. We, got, we, we have um, this honeybee nest in the back, and we got people coming to take it out for us, and they're videotaping, and I just said some cuss words in the video. <laughs> so we got to edit. I'm sorry. It's all right. It's I'm used, used to working with her. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, let, me call, let me call you back in a little bit. Uh, where are you at? The house or are you at the phone? Okay, there's everybody reorienting. Any kids around you might want to show that too? Okay, so you're going back home. Let's do it. All right, I'll give you a call in a little bit. All right. Okay. There's no honey in there. Scott, do a wrap up for the folks, would you? Oh, okay. Let me back away here. We're wrapping up. Okay, everybody, here they go. They're already orienting to the box. We're going to come back in two days and pick them up. And uh, small colony, nice looking queen. So far, from what we could tell, she has a great pattern. And so uh, we've got a queenless hive right now that I actually made queenless, hoping that they draw queen cells, and they never did. So we'll combine them with these ones. Hope you all have a sweet and sticky day, because we sure are. Bye, everyone. Okay, that was fun.